Okay, so what we're going to do here is some continuous nesting within Radiant and Work Plan. So what I'm going to start to do is I'm going to do a new project. And I'm actually going to give it today's date. First 01, 20, and my initials, for instance. And we'll go okay. Okay. So we're going to go up the work plan and we're going to import our parts. This would all be pre-configured, ready to go. All right, from here, I obviously have a lot of choices, customer, um, sales order, material, fitness, etc. I've got a lot of choices on how I'm going to go about my nesting. In this case, we're going to pick a job. So we're going to pick this one here and we're going to import the part. Okay, what it will also do at this stage is import the material that we have in stock. So there's no need to go back up to here and import sheets as well. The system will import the sheets that match the part we've imported as you can see here. We also have a number of different views. Okay, quite a few different views that we can be looking at, depending on what your preference is. All right, obviously under our multi-nest settings that we can get to from here, our remnants folder would already be set up. In this case, I'm actually gonna get rectangular remnants and I'm gonna check my automation. All this can be saved as part of the project so you don't have to select it each time. In this case, I wanna make sure I'm off of cutting up the sheet ready to go. Obviously we have our other nesting options as per normal. We can run the nester from here or we can go okay. That hasn't saved it for the project, that's just saved it for this job. From here, I'm gonna run the nester. There you go, it's a little job, compiling it completely from the job. We've accepted it, of course we can see the job from here. Okay, we can run our reports, we can do that as standard. What we should see is a remnant that's been made in the system. Okay. Now from here, I'm actually going to send that back. That's a job ready for the shop floor. I'm not going to use the release button here for remnants because we're managing that through our work plan. I'm actually going to go back to here. I'm going to go export nests and that should export that into work plan. So when I come back to my work plan, I'm actually going to go to production management. I'm going to go activity basket. What I should see is my nest show up here, which it has. It's important to note, it's got an attachment which takes me back and would open the nest in progress, or the nest I've just created, I should say, and it would also show the time. I would expect that if my nesting's being done correctly, I should see these options. Now, what's important to note, at this stage, the remnant has not actually been created in work plan, the offcut because it's not physically been put through at the machine, so therefore it cannot exist. So if I went into my work plan, I'll just refresh this. So whilst I'll see my material, I won't see any remnants created at this stage. It hasn't been done. So again, I can move this nest that I've created ready to start. So I'll move that across. From here, I can either do it through this screen or ideally, the machine operators at the touch screen would be moving these programs across to completion. So I'm going to actually move this into progress. Such, there you go, I haven't selected a resource, so I'm actually going to select the machine it's been programmed for. Of course, I can see all my information about the job, I can see it's reserved material, I can do a, a bigger picture of the part, etc. Um, and obviously I've got my scheduling button as I showed people before. Of course, what's also might be important okay, is I can actually add on more information. So I can actually show the time of the job, we'll save that. So I can actually show how long the job would take. If I've got more than one job, it'll show me all the times and give me a total value, which can be really handy to see how much work I'm putting to the shop floor at a particular time. We'll close that up. So in this case, I want to push this job through the system. So I'm gonna actually put it in progress and I'm just gonna put this straight through because I wanna see the effect that it has on work plan. So when I take this through to here, it's actually gonna come up and say, how long did the job actually take to run? I'm just gonna go 30 minutes and it's gonna ask about the material as well. So I'm gonna put in, I used the one sheet, which is what was allocated to the job. One sheet, depending on whatever size it was. Then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go okay. That's now closed it through, and I'll close that up. Yeah. Now, what's important, if I actually go back to work plan, I'll just refresh this. 
go here, come back to here. And what we'll actually get is you'll notice it's actually created my remnant. There it is there, piece of material that was off cut from the original. You see the size is 2152, the descriptions come through. You'll see the batch number is matched up as well and any casting number that I put in there. In this case, that might be a heat number. And you can clearly see that piece of remnant has been created. Okay, exactly what we want. So again, very important to note that occurs once the nest has been clocked through for completion, either in the activity basket or at the touch screen by the machine operators. Okay, so of course I can go back to Radan from here. Now, continuous nesting means I can actually keep nesting. I don't have to close the project each time. If you choose to, you can, but you have the choice on doing that. So in this scenario, I'm going to come back to here. I'm going to go import parts. It's going to be bring up the list of the next lot of parts that I can be producing. You'll notice the one that I've done is now off the list because it's been finished. So in this case, I'm going to pick this and I'm going to import it. Bang, there's my part. Now you'll notice what I've also got is I've got the remnant that I created. The work plan has managed that remnant for me. So now my system will try and use up that piece of remnant before it'll do a main sheet. Okay, these menus can obviously all be adjusted. Now what I can do from here, if I wanted to check my settings again, but again, if this has all been set up as part of your project, it would be preset for you all the time. Okay, we're gonna run the nester again. Okay, it's used a piece of material. We're going to go yes for all. Okay, and off we go. So we can see what's been used. All right, you can actually you see it's actually used my remnant because I had it there, it's used it. It hasn't used the sheets of material. If it's made a new remnant, that'll also appear over here. So you get the understanding that I can keep nesting from the screen. Again, I'm going to go back to work plan and I'm going to export those. Sorry, I'm going to go back to the menu and I'm going to export those nests back into work plan. I'm going to go current nest, current, because I've already done the other nest. So I'm exporting the current nest that I've done. As I said, we're doing continuous nesting. We're after speed and just keep pushing those jobs through. Again, you'll see the green buttons. We know everything's correct. Everything's nested correctly. And we've got our red our yellow ticks, uh, sorry, our green ticks to show that it's completed the, the right quantity of parts. I go back to work plan. Again, I'm going to go production management, activity basket, and with a bit of luck, I should see my nest is created. Exactly what I wanted. The part, it's got a cut on it. You'll see green tick, it's in preparation. I've got my attachment. I can double click and open the nest um, and I can see my time. So once again, remember, the offcut that was generated, which is this piece here, won't exist in work plan. It's not yet gone through and been processed, so it can't physically exist. So we're gonna, we're gonna assign a resource this time. We'll do that correctly. We're gonna drag it across, okay? Remember, you can double click on here and you can see all your details of the job. As I've already set this up, I can also see the duration of the job. If I had more than one nest, I would see a cumulative time if again, I had a number of different nests, obviously I can drag and drop and I can do the order of these programs. I can manage the order of cutting that's going to be done at the shop floor for the, for the, pro, for the operators. We'll close that up. In this scenario, we're going to push that across. Okay. And then we're just going to complete the job just like last time. All right. Again, we can put in a time. Let's say it took 15 minutes. Quantity, we're going to go one. You can see that was the material that it created that was an offcut. We're going to go OK. We've now completed that job. I go back into work plan. I'll just do a refresh. Go back into here. OK. All right. Now you'll see it's a different piece of remnant size because we cut it down again. Before it was over two metres. Now it's 12.93. The other remnant has disappeared because we used it all up. Now you'll see again, here's the new remnant that's been created. You also notice in work plan, it ticks it as scrap. So we know that's a piece of remnant. Okay, that's ready to reuse for the next nest. We can go back and we can start the process again. Again, in this scenario, I'm doing continuous nesting 
What's really important is to use the activity basket to see what's going on. Thank you.